Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to get this thing to work with FD8. So I've been fighting with this thing for a while and I couldn't remember how I had it set up before. So, in the menu here, uh, the common port won't pertain to you, but I've got it on 9600. The data bits need to be on eight and the stop bits need to be on two and the handshake needs to be default. I've got an RTS for the push to talk method. Um, you don't have to necessarily use the USB or data part on there. Uh, you can put none. Uh, split operation, you can put none or fake it. Um, so anyways, uh, when you go in here and you initially test it, that'll turn green. If it doesn't, you'll get like, here I'll show you, I'll change it. Okay, so you put that on default. And then I'll go test cat. And I guess it still works, but um, I think if I change this one here to default, it probably won't work. Some of these settings you might just want to have them on default, but if you have this on something else here, it'll give you an invalid. So, at any rate, you just leave all these at default. Um, if you had this on here, it would possibly work. But then the push to talk might not. Let's see, it's still an RX. So, you need to go up here to RTS and then you go retest the cat. Just good. Push the PTT. It's in TX mode. So, um, I think the most important part is you got to have the right COM port and 9600 baud and you need to be in the radio um let me shut it off and i'll show you so hold the lock key okay go to the menu i've got it on auto so um you can put it on a bunch of different ones 9600 or auto is the way to go uh, address is 58 and uh, these will be different if you're using one of the older 706s I've got one of those over there um, and then there's this too so basically if you're having any trouble um, you should be able to watch this video and figure it out you see all my settings and this is the initial set menu so it's just going to be whatever filters I got turned on um, and the communication stuff. So if you got any of that set wrong, you're going to have problems. Then you go there, turn it back on. Okay, close this. We go back in here, test the cat, test the push to talk. We're good. You get everything set, click OK, go in here, they're on 40, we go change it, let's put 10136, boom, the radio changes. I'll switch it back to, we'll go to 75 meters. So, once you get it set, it'll follow you where you want it to go. And then, uh, I've got my outdoor portable setup going right now. So let's go over here. I'm tuned up on 20. And see another setting you need here. And make sure you go in there. Get your audio. This is actually decoding through the laptop which I don't want. I'm gonna use my USB device. And you can decode this through the microphone on your laptop and then you know, turn your Vox on or something and let the microphone do it, but it's a huge pain in the butt. So now that I got this set here, so go in here. 
CQ. Enable. Boom. I'm transmitting. I've got this thing turned down to like four or five watts. And uh, there you go. So if you have any questions, uh, post them up. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'm always coming out with new videos. 73 from Kilo Golf 7 Hotel Victor Romeo.